Link in the description for the non-timer version of this video, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of So I'm a Spider, So What? Episode 17, What Am I Doing? And press play on it when I press play. When the timer reaches zero. Now, did they just drop the comma motif in the in the title? Cause it's just weird. Like, I don't really think was there a reason to do that? <laughs> so they're all the demons are all preparing for the next big attack. Is that the only reason she's going after Kumiko? Which, by the way, they're doing so many red herrings with this character right here as to what her whole deal is. I just... I feel like no matter what I say, I think her name's Ariel. I, I feel like no matter what I say, I'm gonna be wrong with her. <laughs> uh, I still think there's a chance that there's something going on, Kumiko and her, and that it's gonna get weird at some point. But I have no clue. I'm actually still not convinced that Wakaba is Kumiko. I feel like that's another red herring they're doing. Right. And what's weird to me... Mm. I'm getting more and more stuck on why it matters who's who from the classroom. Like, why does it matter who Administrator D is or anyone? And I can only conclude that somebody got a scheme. Somebody's lying or it's going to be a big reveal that will have contextual purpose for some reason. I just can't quite put my... Like, I don't think this is gonna be it. But, I uh, like, I really don't. Like, this is just an example. I think we're talking, like, on the craziness levels of somehow, some way, Shun is both, you know, Shlane and Kumiko. I don't think that's specifically gonna be it, but that's where I think that kind of thing is where they're building to. Because I can't figure out why it matters. Because nothing changes once we know who's who. Unless it's something crazy like that. I just, I can't figure out what the crazy thing is. Uh, it's just... Someone's a bullshitter. I just don't know who. That's where I'm at right now. Starting the timer at 30 seconds. In three, two, one, go. Ooh, is that why she's at odds with her? All spider monsters will do what you say. Oh, I remember one who wasn't quite so obedient. Which, yeah, we also don't know, is the scene in, uh, the previous episode at the end taking place in the past? Uh, because she's supposed to be a relatively new demon lord, so I think, are they implying that Kumiko's timeline has already caught up to the other classmate's timeline? I guess we don't know how long she was in the labyrinth for, but... Uh, uh more confusions. Starting the timer at 38 seconds in 3, 2, 1, go. That's right, that's going on. <laughs> Immortality, bitch! <laughs> it's great to be alive. Just a severed head over here. <laughs> you thought that was enough to take me on? I like to imagine in Dragon Ball, if Vegeta ever had gotten immortality, that's how it would have played out. Like, Frieza would have been like, oh, great, you're immortal now. Slices his head off. Ha ha! Ha ha! You think you can kill me? 
the legendary Super Saiyan! <laughs> I am looking forward to getting these scenes. These scenes will clear up, I, well, I'm guessing, I hope, <laughs> that these scenes will clear up some of my confusions in the story so far. A little bit, a little bit. So I, I have a feeling some kind of mic drop moment will happen that completely changes the perception of events that have thus far occurred. I just... I can't wait. Get used to things appearing out of nowhere here. Is he worried about a particular danger? What? Oh, okay. Because it's so huge and expansive. And most of you probably can't see in the dark, although Shun would probably be able to afford the skill. If he had to. So it's probably even worse to just travel through the place than it would be for a monster like Kumiko. She's naked! What? Is she like a prisoner or something? Someone's mind is being used as the system breach of this world to, to keep it all together? It had to have been more than 10 years that, uh, well, that, uh, I, I'm pretty 90% sure they're talking about Kumiko, uh, because of all the stuff. 10 years, so, they're all, like, between the ages of 14 and 18, I'm not exactly, uh, I, I, you guys have told me, I'm sorry, but I just don't remember the exact number, uh, so, that would mean... Shoot. She started to become a known quantity to adventurers. Herself, like specifically this spider. Right around the time after she left the middle stratum with all the fire and stuff, I think that's the right one. And before the fight with Araba. Uh, that is uh, right around the time that she started to become a known quantity. So, th so that would mean that before between Kumiko arriving in the labyrinth 
to you know the fight with Araba would have been gosh three to five years I would think that's just a nutty timeline to me it does it doesn't feel like that much time is passing at least but it does if that is true. Which, maybe they're implying something else. They're gonna smack me in the face with my own stupidity in a minute here. But if that's true, then she's actually... It's not actually that far from the, the stories converging from where we are now. It just feels like a strange timeline. Starting the timer at 5.18 and 3, 2, 1, go. And she knows. She knows what's up. That was the nightmare's vestige. That was the what was the the what was left behind. Was that you back then? Yes. Did that happen in the show? I know it happened in the books. And that hasn't happened in the books yet. I'm actually a little surprised. I had to stop reading because I caught up and caught an event that I was like, wait, I don't think this has happened. I have to stop. It was a little bit more to do with, I think, the water dragon, I think. I'm going to go back. I, th I think I missed a line. Yeah, I think the heal's the wounded thing. Did that happen in the show? Someone remind me which episode it was. If it did, it's just more jumbled plot lines. Starting the timer at 6.17 and 3, 2, 1, go. Missed. This is... Yeah, Philemos totally knows about her. It's just questionable exactly what she thinks and knows. The baby was definitely a vampire. Almost certainly Sophia, right? Not Philemos. No chance, right? Off the wall thought. <laughs> right there. Uh, <laughs> Starting the timer at 707. Maybe I'll stop pausing eventually in 3, 2, 1, go. Just don't attack it. We've covered that. Ooh. I like this guy. Yeah, I knew it was the same guy who'd met her before. She's had 
at the point in the show, four encounters with humans, I think? In the books. In the books, for sure. Well, not for sure, but close. Maybe five. <laughs> it was nothing. <laughs> yeah. God, I'm getting, like, chills. Because they're dangling these two plot lines merging in front of us. Cool, she's changed the entire philosophy of dealing with an entire branch of monsters. So there are multiple Nightmares vestiges. I don't remember his name, but the, the big, the greatest mage saw the real Kumiko, but this was before the Nightmares Vestiges thing were, uh, were a thing. And we know what that means! <laughs> Is that huge compared to you? Well, I would compare to you guys, I know it's huge for speed, but what about its skills? If it just evolved, it shouldn't be that tough. I mean, tough, but... <laughs> Several reincarnations, maybe we got the edge. Ah, uh, is that not still magic? Is, is, wait, 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 bullshit. <laughs> Are they trying to tell me that sticking your arm out and lightning coming out and hitting the thing doesn't count as magic in this world? <laughs> I mean, I get that the lightning resistance is its own separate skill, so it's like if you have magic resistance and light resist and, and lightning resistance, maybe the two kind of like work together as a resistance. But the lightning thing is still magic. <laughs> Started the timer at eleven fifty six in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Is she gonna do something? Are you the superior dragon? Oh, cool! Didn't even need to transform!
Nice. Will they all get the Dragon Slayer title after this? I don't remember if they got it after that one Earthworm attacked. Cool. Hey. Wait, oh. skill ultimate life is that just a regeneration skill but yeah he he got the title dragon slayer now did everyone else get it too for being part of the the battle or is it just a final blow type deal starting the timer 13 15 in three two one go Hey, y'all got it, cool. Hey, he has to answer the question. Wait, don't you know? Do you not get the voice in your head? Wait. But everyone gets the voice. Well, now I'm thrown. There's Johnny! Is it just the vestiges? But they're looking for that, those skills, the rulers of the seven sins. And there's four of them. Just don't attack. <laughs> yeah, and Kumiko knows about all that nonsense because of the uh, taboo skill, right? Hey, the good news is they're not trying to kill you. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, he's not being unfair. It's uh, this makes sense. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh shit! An actual fucking spider was in the room? Well, that answers something at least.
spooky. <laughs> Wait. Oh man, we're not getting any Kumiko in this episode other than that little blurb at the beginning, are we? Oh, these things. Dragon breath. <laughs> they got they got to take up the clothes. Do not hear a thing. Oh, come on. She's gonna kill you, dude. <laughs> I'm surprised they're not just avoiding you. Casa Nagara. Okay. Ah, yes, we're getting back to this. And she only. <laughs> She's not helpless. Yeah, you don't want to draw too much attention from the clearly stronger thing that did this to you, though. <laughs> not quite, but you're not too far off. Oh. So I'm an immortal, so what? <laughs> Splitting your souls, you're about to fall to mort on me! Oh no! That's what the vestiges are for. Come on. This wasn't a great episode. Probably the best human-focused episode we've had. But I still need more of my Spider-Girl. This is fucking awesome. Okay, so, you know, 
I'm not uh, I'm not convinced, but the new red herring, which may be the actual solution for Ariel, is that she is the actual spider from the classroom. It's the new red herring, and honestly, I'm not convinced. But... Holy shit! I'd be so bogus if this whole time Kumiko was the the spider the whole time, and she just thought she was a human. Like uh, she the, all that shit about her parents and family, just a dream. That's not gonna be it. That'd be so stupid. But <laughs> I loved this episode. Oh, we got a post credits. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the reason. Did we know that? I, I didn't realize it was because of the attack going on here. Yeah, I think she said that it was the case. <laughs> Ooh. Fuck, this is gonna be awesome. There's a few things about the human side of things that I hope they get better at for season two. Especially the fights. But this episode was rock solid. Next time.